So, if you watch my videos, you know I say some stupid ass shit. However, today... No, it, no it's gonna be some more stupid ass shit. Anyways, welcome to Unpopular Opinion, the show that truly shows my daddy issues. So, the main issue is not US Agent, the Dora Milaje, or any of the following supporting characters. Oddly enough, it's the main characters and the setup. Whoever wrote this show really got something backwards. These characters have had the benefit of being set up over a variety of stories and films, but instead of focusing and furthering that development, I think the writers took advantage of that and focused on other areas. They are giving Bucky loads of character development and making Sam a badass. Don't get me wrong, they both need a combination of those aspects, but right now, it's imbalanced. I blame the plot of this series. So what do we have? We have a group of freedom fighting terrorists that have killed maybe two to three dozen people while trying to secure supplies for the needy. Okay, that seems like a legitimate threat. Seems like a threat to the establishment, but is it a... Is it a threat? No. No, it is not. More importantly, it definitely doesn't require the help of Baron Zemo. Now, to be fair, they are doing a marvelous job with Zemo's character. From the aesthetic to the character, he's all around amazing. All the issues I had with his character in Civil War are now slowly fading away. But let's be real here. Letting Zemo out of prison to catch the Flag Smasher is the stupidest idea I have ever heard. The ends simply just don't justify the means. That is basically letting out Hitler out of prison to catch Ted Bundy. The amount of damage that Zemo has done to the United Nations, the and the Avengers, make him hypothetically more dangerous than any person in real life. It's simply not worth the risk. And the last person that would let him out is the Winter Soldier because he would be the only person who truly understands how dangerous he is. Let's get into the character development issues. There are two Winter Soldiers in the Marvel Universe. Winter Soldier. Wiener Soldier. The Winter Soldier's development as a character is great. The reluctancy to fight, the remorse and need to amend all the works as the Winter Soldier are fantastic. However, we still need a super soldier. This simply is not the same guy who stood toe to toe with Captain America. He has this reluctancy for violence, but even when he turns on murder mode, he's more or less mediocre. It never makes sense. Nerf. The choreography or the circumstances in which he is fighting never seem to do him any favors. I am just waiting and waiting for him to use his metal arm for something cool, but he doesn't even do it. He has barely used his vibranium arm in any circumstance. Now let's talk about Sam. This show is all about Cap's legacy, and this show made it abundantly clear the shield is not what makes the hero, it's the character. However, in the first four episodes, it barely touched on what makes him a great character. Sam barely had any redeeming qualities that I would find in a Captain America. By the time that we start developing Sam's character, it's already more than halfway through the show. And that is a fundamental pacing issue because now, all these dominoes are set up and we're still setting up our initial characters. We're supposed to be ready for this climax and we haven't even got to truly understand that Sam Wilson is a worthy Captain America. That's a real issue given that he's a titular character. But there's so much depth to Sam that we see in other films. He is a character who has known loss, who has helped others heal from their own wounds, who will stand by your side regardless of your decisions. Someone who will fight impossible odds just to help out his friends. Sam is a great person and a great leader, a healer in ways. And I feel like somehow they developed that more in minor roles than his own show. Don't get me wrong. I think this is fan Fantastic. I'm very excited to see where this character will go moving forward. That being said, I think the setup in the first four episodes was initially pretty weak. But I mean, now that we're here, I'm fucking ecstatic. Look how awesome this shit is. I really like how they established Sam as Captain America, and I think the political commentary is very fitting. Uh, if you look on the internet right now, a lot of people are not about the fact that we have a new Captain America. A lot of people would have preferred Bucky. But, in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to have a globetrotting assassin as the symbol of your country. 
So here is how I would have fixed the show. And you can still have most of the set pieces and most of the same, you know, scenes would play out how they played. Uh, a, Zemo would escape prison on his own accord. One, kind of feels weird that he didn't because he's kind of a genius and he probably could escape any prison, not only with his extreme wealth, but his military background, but whatever. It could have been a Shawshank thing where he breaks out using his wit, or he could have got out just because he got blipped. He blipped out, then blipped back in. Honestly, that makes sense to me as well. Uh, he doesn't and shouldn't need Bucky's help to get out of prison. After Zemo would escape prison, he would then take refuge in Madripoor. Later, or this is part B, I suppose, Falcon would approach Bucky on where Zemo might be hiding. Bucky would already know about Hydra, given that he was an assassin for them for over 70 years. He would probably remember more than just the people he killed. Falcon and Bucky use the Winter Soldier's knowledge to find Zemo, where Zemo explains that there are more super soldiers out there. Just like in Civil War, they realize it's an issue and they need to take care of it. Zemo would be the one who brings the attention of the Flag Smashers to the dynamic duo. They agree to gather information with Zemo and stop the Flag Smashers, but after that, return him to jail. Most of the Madripoor episode, including that sick-ass dance scene, would play out the same. Meanwhile, US Agent is then deployed to catch Zemo because that seems like an issue that would catch the attention of the American government. But that's just me. Uh, what would you do if you had the chance to rewrite the show? Uh, a lot of people I hear would like to take out the Flag Smashers, and I kind of get that. They were kind of lame as hell. But what would you like to do with this show? And do you like the new Captain America? And if you don't, I don't care really. So yeah, please leave your comments and likes below and dislikes too. Everything is welcome. And if anyone can find me a good tax representative, I'm trying to write off all my Dogecoin. 